Ontario's forests are dynamic environments that depend on natural disturbance for regeneration. Wind, fire, insects, diseases, all these forces, along with geology, soil conditions and climate, shaped our ancient forests. With the presence of humans, our forests became subject to a new type of disturbance. While the impact of the indigenous communities was minimal, within a hundred years of European settlement, we'd clear cut most of the southern regions of this province and significantly diminished the forest in other areas as well. Today, thanks to science, hands on experience, and traditional indigenous knowledge, we have a much better understanding of forest dynamics and we're starting to realize that our future depends on the future of healthy forest ecosystems. When I go into a forest now, any forest, I'm thinking about how those trees became established. Many of them are hundreds of years old, so they've been there much longer than any of our living uh, people that are alive today. So you have to think about trees in their, in their life cycle and try to think about them 100 years from now. So history becomes important as a guide to what the uh, future forest might look like. 